Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Christina Shaji and my group partner is Bibin Baiju. Today in this video, we are going to tell you about a case study on management information system in restaurant. So let's move on to the case summary. A waiter takes an order at a table and then enters it online by one of the six ter terminals located in the restaurant dining room. The order is routed to a printer in the appropriate preparation area. The cold item printer if it is a salad, the hot item printer if it is a hot sandwich or the bar printer if it is a drink. A customer's meal check listing, the items ordered and the respective prices are automatically generated. This ordering system eliminates the old 3 carbon copy guest check system as well as any problems caused by a waiter's handwriting. When the kitchen runs out of a food item, the cooks send out an out of stock message which will be displayed on the dining room terminals when waiters trying to order that item. This gives the waiters faster feedback enabling them to give better services to the customers. Other system features aid management in the planning and control of their restaurant business. The system provides up to the minute information on the food items ordered and breakouts percentages showing sales of each item versus total sales. This helps management plan menus according to customer's days. The system also compares the weekly sales totals versus food cost allowing planning for tighter cost controls. In addition, whenever an order is avoided, the reasons for the void are keyed in. This may help later in management decisions, especially if the voids consistently related to food or service. Acceptance of the system by the users is exceptionally high since the waiters and waitresses were involved in the selection and design process. All the potential users were asked to give their impressions and ideas about various systems available before one was chosen. Problems identified in this case First one is menu, second one is customer service, third one is inventory management and menu pricing, fourth one is marketing and fifth one is capital. So moving on to the first one, menu. These are a couple of the most common problems restaurant face today. A good menu requires considering how many items are too much versus offering too little. It's best to have a smaller number of dishes but making them really well. Longer menus take longer to order from, require more ingredients thus making you have to buy more ingredients. Second one is customer service. First impressions are important. Poor customer service is often a deal breaker for customers. Your food may be outstanding, your table settings exquisite and your ambience delightful. But if your service is bad, customers will remember. Inventory management and menu pricing. Inventory and menu pricing should take into consideration the ordering process to limit waste. This will have a direct impact not only on our environment but also on the fluctuating ingredients cost which impact gross profit on menu items. Menu pricing shall be organic and have fluidity as frequent and small increases in menu prices are easier to sell than larger more than noticeable increases done infrequently. Next one is marketing. Many owners fail to pay enough attention to marketing making this is a common problem in the restaurant world. Some of a few areas to attend in order to avoid the pitfalls that not enough marketing inquires. First one is formalize for brand standards. Second one is engage in social media and digital, digital marketing. Third one is start an email database. Fourth one is create a customer loyalty program. The next one is capital. So finally we came to an area where many restaurant entrepreneurs run into big problems. This looming problem is capital and more especially a lack of it. Restaurant owners need enough capital to run their business so it can fully establish itself. Owners should plan to have at least enough money to run for one year. Additionally, Restaurant owners need to have enough financial resources to cope with unexpected costs and increases. So moving on to the question. So the first question is, in the light of the system, describe the decisions to be made in the area of strategic planning, managerial control and operational control. 
what information would you require to make such decisions so answer to the question a management system a management information system is a computer system consisting of hardware and software that serves as the backbone of an organization's operations an mis gathers data from multiple online systems analyzes the information and reports data to aid in man management decision making there are three areas in the organization strategic managerial and operational control they are as follows first one is strategic decisions they are categorized by uncertainty the decisions to be made in the area of strategic planning are future oriented and relate directly to planning activity here basically planning for future that is budgets target markets policies objectives etc is done second one is managerial control the decisions to be made in the area of managerial control are largely depend upon the information available to the decision makers it is basically a middle level where planning of minus is done and whenever an order is avoided the reasons for the void are keyed in which later helps in management decisions especially if the voids are related to service and the third one is operational control the decisions to be made in the area of operational control pertain to implementation of specific task through appropriate technology this is basically a lower level where the waiter takes the order and enters it online via one of the restaurant dining room and the order is routed to a printer in the appropriate preparation area the items ordered list and the prospective prices are automatically generated moving on to the second question what would make the system a more complete mis rather than just doing transaction processing so answer to that question if the system had to be oriented only with transactions then only an accounting officer would be sufficient for the work but the mis gives more potential and benefit to the organization in particular to the restaurant organization as it will help in knowing the taste and preference of the customer the efficiency of the waiter the inventory the chef's advice availability of raw materials and more such essential information will be available to the management to make accurate and useful timely decisions not just an accounting or transaction processing system moving on to the third question explain the probable effects that making the system more formal would have on the customers and the management so answer to that question formal is equal to one way or rigidity making the system more formal or rigid means making the system more non user friendly and difficult to understand which the management may find hard to impose on the ground and middle level staff and where in the staff will find it hard to learn the new software and the ways the management has proposed to put forth for them to follow in applying such formal methods may leads to clashes or conflicts within the organization and in turn lead to poor performance of the company as a whole so this is all about our topic thank you